Well, Orange County's coronavirus state of emergency has now come to an end. The positivity rate in the county is now three and a half percent. Orange County's mayor Jerry Demings is joining us this morning on the phone to talk about moving into a new maybe post pandemic era. Can we actually say that out loud? He's joining us now. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. How are you? Good morning, Amy. I'm doing fine, and I hope you are as well, as well as uh, your viewing and listening audience. You must have had such a big sense of relief yesterday to be able to announce that. Uh, absolutely. I believe that we're at a much better place uh, three months uh, after we re really hit the highest point of the spread of uh, COVID-19 within our community. Uh, August and September had the highest death rates that we have seen. But the fact that we have had 17 consecutive days where our positivity rate has been below uh, 5% is, is phenomenal. So I believe that we're, in, we're in, uh, heading into the home stretch as we continue to uh, battle against the virus within our community. Mr. Mayor, as you know, you know, we all sort of thought in June things were looking so good and then all of a sudden the Delta variant hit and, and all of a sudden we were, were back up at these skyrocketing numbers again. Do you worry about the future? Do you feel like we're in a good spot now that that won't happen again? Well, the good news is that uh, over 75 percent of the eligible population now has been vaccinated. But we also uh, have the promise that children uh, between the ages of 5 and 11 years old will soon be able to get vaccinated as well. So we have to run through the finish line and ensure that we have our, those who can get tested, get tested so that they know their status and those who uh, can get vaccinated, we still urge them to get vaccinated as well. So there might be a lot of people who say, okay, great, the state of emergency is over, but what does that actually mean? Can you kind of go through what, what some of the changes will be? Well, the state of emergency is um, something that allowed under the law that uh, gives me the uh, authority to not go through normal procurement processes where I can uh, uh, procure services to help uh, respond to the pandemic, uh, such as uh, when we've had to stand up uh, vaccine sites, uh, testing sites. Uh, sometimes uh, time is of the essence. We don't have time to go through a long bidding process in order to be able to do that. So the state of emergency helps me to manage the crisis within our community, but it also signifies something to uh, our residents here within Orange County uh, that gives them uh, the uh, heads up that uh, they too have to be responsive and continue to do things to protect themselves uh, during this pandemic. Now we're still in the pandemic. The fact that we're at a low rate of three and a half percent doesn't mean that it's zero. Ultimately, we want to get that rate down to zero. Uh, the Centers for Disease Control still lifts us and uh, the uh, substantial or moderate uh, category. And so until we are see ourselves at a much lower rate, we still have to uh, be vigilant and wear the facial covering and do things that we should be doing when we're in crowded indoor spaces. Mr. Mayor, I know there's been a, a bit of a battle going on with, with some of the Orange County firefighters and first responders regarding vaccination status. Where are you with that right now? Uh, at this point, um, we reached agreement, as you may recall, with all of our unions, including the fire union, that uh, none of our employees would risk uh, getting fired or terminated if they did not get vaccinated. Uh, the discipline was a written reprimand. And so those uh, who followed the directive uh, did not receive any form of discipline. And I'm happy to say that uh, really over 85 percent of the county's employees complied with the directive. Uh, we had another 10 percent or so who met the religious or the medical exemptions. And so truly everyone uh, got it. They understood the urgency of the matter. So unfortunately, this has been one of those issues across the nation that has been heavily politicized. But here within our community, our community responded and uh, we have not seen any type of mass exodus from Orange County's employee. Our firefighters are going to work every day doing what they're entrusted to do. Uh, so it really had minimal impact on our operations. So we are not seeing what some other metropolitan communities are seeing around the country. Our residents stepped up to the plate and did the right thing in this regard. Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us and to talk to us and our viewers this morning. Thank you. Uh, be safe.